Huh? Oh. Hello, fellow bookquesters. It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I introduce you to this Explorer's book. The Explorer by Catherine Rundle. Now, now, now. This book is basically the same as Hutchinson almost. It's about children who is stranded because a plane crashed in some kind of forest or the wilderness and they have to survive. But there's some key differences from Hatchet and the Explorer. Number one, the hat in Hatchet, it's more about surviving more than exploring. But, but in the other way, the Explorer as its title says, is more theming exploring. And the title, I guess, rings quite true. And there are four main chapters that I'm going to tell you about right now. Number one, Fred. Mm -hmm. Fred is a boy who likes explorers, the oldest of the four, and who narrates everything. He seems to be the main, main character. And Lila, the girl who is who agrees with Fred with a lot of stuff and and then and has a strong will to survive and knows about a lot of animals. Khan, the girl who was quite bossy and as everyone thought, spoil I mean what I thought, spoiled and unhelpful, but alas Khan, with her photographic memory, can memorize everything. And that is quite good not to get lost in the jungle. And Max, little brother of Lilla, she, he's annoying and he threatens you to pee on, pee, he threatens you that he'll pee on you if you wake him too early, but you have to take the risk because sometimes you really have to wake Max up. And as I can call them, the four explorers. They crash landed, the pilot dead, and they ran. They ran, they ran, they ran. They ran until they got lost and finally stumbled into a clearing. Then soon enough, they found a shelter. A shelter, a man-made shelter that they started to call the den. Seriously, you, I mean, it looked like someone made it. It's unnatural. It's woven. It's camouflaged completely. It looked just several days old and it is really old and moldy and stuff. And so whoever was living there wasn't living there anymore. And soon, and soon the four children, by that I mean Fred, Lilla, Khan, and Max, starts to live at what they call the den. They make a fire out of the flints they found inside. And well, they basically have well, lots of bad time. Their first food is grubs. Grubs cut and mixed with cocoa paste, doom, 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 and kind of make like pancakes, I guess. You see, you ate a grub. When you currently eat it, like, it's not very good. But it's a, it's a thing that you might laugh back toward in the future. But I guess that's not the point. Later, they make a raft that would carry them down river. They are, mind you, I'm sorry I didn't tell you, crash landed in the Amazon. The green hell. Snakes, vipers, panthers, things that could eat a human easily. Even Kaima, the alligator like crocodiles or alligators or but a bit smaller and evil kind of and yeah yeah and they follow the amazon river on a raft soon soon enough they they got and one day they found a sloth and the lila being fond of it called him baka and baka loved lila very much and well and lila carried her carried him around everywhere. And as the explorers f 
follow a map they had found while got, getting some honey from the bee's hive. It say uh, that it shows an X that maybe there is someone. And so basically they rode the raft toward the X found the map. But but since Max had fallen off and they could not let her him drown, so Fred jumped in and rescued him. But the thing is the map was in Fred's pocket and it got wet and moldy and ripped in half and stuff like that. But good for us, Con, with her photographic memory, had memorized every inch of that map and made an exact copy on a book with a stone. Quite useful if you're lost in the jungle. And uh, they finally, they reached the X and it was actually a city, a lost city. A beautiful city too. It was made. It was grown. It was pruned. The canopy over it was pruned. Was made. If you go up the mountain and look down, all you see is greenness and the canopy. The people, whoever made that city, put the vines around, made a canopy around it. The canopy, the Amazon canopy. They he they pruned it. They see made it sealed together to protect their city. No one could see it. No one from the outside at least. And when when the kids stumble in there, there was a man. A madman, they thought. And he was later on quite helpful. The man uh, they decided to call him the explorer. But the man wouldn't tell anyone his name. And Bo and Fred wanted to just say the city, tell everyone where was the city, tell archaeologists, and once his name on the time was capital black letters. Just like like just like the explorer in the past. The explorer found this place, but when he was young, he would have sold out this place, told everyone about it. But, but, the explorer, he changed after the loss of his wife and the, lo and the loss of his very own son. And one day, Max gets sick attacked by bullet ants. Could the explorer survive in the Amazon jungle? Leave out the surprise and be careful piranhas and Kaiman, the crocodile like alligator like things. And could they go back to their homes and keep the secret of the great city, the ancient city that they had stumbled into? That is one secret I am going to keep. And you just have to go in. Go there. Go there with a portal that this book can open. And you can only see it, my friends. Because the book sure doesn't want you to get killed in the Amazon jungle. And I guess the book maybe might like you too. And... Like always, your book quester, I'm the book quester. Well, I'm running late, guys. I gotta go. Maybe the Amazon jungle is a pith helmet, or maybe to somewhere else. But I sure think there'll be a lot of green. And my couch is green, mind you. Bye!